Alpha schools are reimagining education from the ground up by using artificial intelligence to build learning skills and to help kids tackle real world challenges. Now they have several campuses throughout the country, including new locations in Lake Forest and Santa Barbara, which will launch this fall. Mackenzie Price is the co-founder of Alpha Schools, and she's here to talk about the departure really from traditional schooling. I, we're showing this video, right? And it looks like the kids are having this amazing grand time. It doesn't look like a traditional classroom at yeah. all. Oh, but that's part of what this is, right? You do all of your coursework really in two hours with AI kind of helping along the way. And then you get to do a lot of other cool stuff. There has never been a more exciting time to be a five-year-old <laughs> than right now. And I, yeah. Yeah. and I think people have been very nervous about how is artificial intelligence going to come and affect education. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, it's creating such a great experience for both the students and for how? our teachers. Wow. How is that well, yeah. we're able to provide personalized learning that meets every kid exactly where they're at mm -hmm. okay. and goes at the level and pace of that. We can know all about their knowledge. What do they know? What don't they know? What do they need to learn? And we can overlap that with their interests. As a result, kids are learning twice as fast in only two hours a day. When you say meet them where they're at, are you talking about things like, I, I'm a more visual learner. Yeah. Is it stuff like that? Well, yeah. so that is one of the great things about when we per create these personalized learning plans, mm -hmm. kids can get visual and auditory support. Okay. Uh, they can go at a, at a pace that it's right. And if you take like that fifth grade student who maybe needs to go back and revisit third or fourth grade uh, concepts, mm -hmm. we can, can do, do that. that. Or that wow. fifth grade student who needs to be going and doing eighth or ninth grade content, they can do that wow. too. Good point. All of that can be done so much more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And then of course it opens the rest of the day mm -hmm. for us to focus on life skills. Um. Things like public speaking and storytelling and leadership and teamwork mm -hmm. and financial literacy. Oh my goodness. I was just going to that going Exactly. Yeah. We, we need that as mm -hmm. a society. Yeah, really. it's yeah. great. And then the key thing that has really uh, enabled all of the success is we've been able to transform the role of the teacher in the classroom to be able to focus on motivational and emotional support mm, okay. and mentorship. Wow. So our teachers finally get the chance to really make that impact mm -hmm. that they all got into this career mm -hmm. to do, connect with students and let artificial intelligence do the things like you know, lesson planning and exactly. not having to grade stuff. And you know what? There's not even a need for homework when you're wow. able to efficiently <laughs> learn like this. Yeah. I know. Man, Music yeah. and parents yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it's never been a better time. There are things that only humans can do. The, the teacher, it's just as important as the, the schoolwork. And right? there will never be a world where humans are not at the center. Right. But mm -hmm. artificial intelligence is allowing us to raise human intelligence mm -hmm. for both students academically as well as developing life skills and having that time and allowing those teachers to serve in that mentor role for all of their students. Mackenzie, I think a lot of people would like to know, how are you going to ensure, how are you ensuring that AI technology is being used responsibly yeah. in the classroom? Well, that's a very important thing. So for example, in our schools, we don't use a chatbot feature because as much as we wish kids would just have Socratic discussions, sure. mm -hmm. they will use it to cheat. Sure. Uh, and so we don't, yeah. we don't enable that. We use the personalized aspect of this and then make sure that kids have safety. The other thing that's so important is in this world, we need to teach our young people how to use these tools well. So for example, in the afternoons, we allow our kids to uh, use AI tools to do things like research their favorite animals and then mm. give a presentation and get feedback from an app that gives them how's their intonation, how's their number of filler words, you know, how can they make their speech more engaging. And so when we can teach kids how to use these tools to give them superpowers, not to cheat, that's where the magic happens. And I think that's what we've seen families really want. They want their kids to be well developed for great life skills and to be prepared academically. Okay, I just have one very quick question yeah. for you. This sounds really expensive. Is it just for higher income families? Uh, so we are a private school right now mm -hmm. and we are working to get into the public world. It's a tough one, I have mm -hmm. to say. Um, so we develop financial aid programs for our students and um, we started in Texas uh, 11 years ago and we've been growing throughout the country. What I'm seeing is that Families are demanding change. Yeah. They want to see something better. And uh, the good news is the future of education, it's here now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hope to see it become more accessible to all families. Yeah, McKenzie. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's the beautiful part about artificial intelligence. It is scalable, mm. and we can make this more accessible. And it's something that I think with, with the shift in resources, um, the public world can start taking advantage of these things. Okay. Great to hear. Well, thank you so much for being here. It's yeah. a fascinating car. I could, I, I could spend the next two Seriously. hours talking to you. Yeah about this, but we got to well, go. Well, that's all it takes to learn uh, in a day, two hours.